My research aims to capture the impacts of climate change in the Arctic and in the mountainous regions around the world. For 10 months of the year, the tundra biome is cold and frozen. Trees don't grow in these regions, as the harsh winters are too long and the short summers are too cold, preventing trees from taking root. However, these landscapes are changing fast because of the warming climate. I use technology, such as drones and satellite observations, to document one of the most visible signs of this change, the so-called greening of the Arctic. As these regions warm up three to four times faster than the rest of the world, they are becoming greener. The future of climate change research requires collaboration with fellow researchers and colleagues from around the world. In our studies, we collect data by scanning plant leaves and roots to figure out how they grow in frozen landscapes. And what we're finding is that plants are growing taller year after year. The tundra protects carbon stored in the permafrost, the permanently frozen ground. But as plants grow taller, they capture windblown snow in their branches. Deeper snow insulates the ground, trapping the heat below, which causes the permafrost to thaw and release carbon into the atmosphere. Because carbon contributes to climate change, it is critical that we understand the implications of Arctic greening. Choosing heat-free technology will lower energy consumption, minimizing our impact on the environment. From saving energy at home, to biking to work, and eating local, we can each make a difference. It is important for all of us to be aware of how our choices impact the environment, in our own backyards and around the planet.